A few extra seconds of footage of that Manchester airport incident have emerged. I've taken screenshots which I will talk through here. This is the new earlier footage. The cops are approaching a blue tracksuit boy at the vending machine in the middle there and he becomes aware of their presence. In these images the cop grabs him round the neck. It's been suggested this is a punch. It's almost certainly not a punch and that wouldn't even make sense. Now the bloke in the shorts is taking an interest. Blue tracksuit is released somehow and now shorts is attacking the cop who originally grabbed blue tracksuit and this is where we get the previously released footage. While shorts is still punching the cop, blue tracksuit is now punching another cop in the middle, that's where he punches the female cop, and you might have noticed that Shorts has now stopped punching the cop he was punching. Blue tracksuit right of centre is now punching his third cop, and since Shorts has stopped punching the cop on the left, that cop now fires a taser at him. Blue tracksuit is kneeling down on the far right, he sees the tasering, starts running across and starts laying into that cop, so that's fully four cops that blue tracksuit has now attacked. They end up on the floor, and that's where the viral video starts of the cop kicking him in the head. The police are suggesting that these two Muslim boys may have been involved in a dust-up on the plane, followed by a dust-up in Starbucks. Trouble in Starbucks, airport cops are called in, cops approach suspects, cops make to grab the chief suspects from behind, and the rest follows. But the police regulator seems to think it could be criminal to release such footage. For what possible reason? But the police watchdog is not happy about you knowing any of this. This referral, whilst considering other possibilities, relates to whether someone employed by the force may have shared footage relating to an active police investigation or without a legitimate policing purpose. We are in the early stages of an independent investigation which will consider whether there is any evidence to suggest this was provided by someone working for GMP, and if so, the justification for this. I believe our little friend here, who attacked fully four airport cops, one, two, three, and four, has not yet been charged with anything, nor do I think he will be.